It, it's sort of strange, isn't it? You spend about four decades with the person and you never find an issue that has existed between you. Perfect harmony. Main weed beating program has to be pivotal for every activity. That's how I foresaw it. And in that, then drives automatically figure. All was based upon genetic diversity and Norm's vision that you have to start looking for the future, plan several decades ahead, integrate the teams together, and keep the international needs in mind. And that's how we execute it. I learned from Raj very earlier on, if your products don't end up in the field, and they are not distributed and adapted, and your partners don't accept it, you really have not contributed much. Raj was a researcher, or as I should say, still is a researcher, who had tremendous vision. He, he was not complacent. Uh, he had this urge of doing something different all the time. Raj took another dimension, has never mentioned it, but that's how I interpret it. He crossed winter wheat with spring wheat and emerged in 1976 was a brand of wheat labeled as Viri. And that Viri wheat involved a gene transfer which had many genes for rust resistances and mildew resistances, etc. Wide adaptability, performed well under drought, gave us yield advantage. And the first line which came out in Pakistan was called Park 81. It revolutionized wheat production in Pakistan. You serve the world with a target in mind. Empty stomachs, you've got a problem. And that's how the research was catered, and that's how Raj served the country, divided into mega environments. Their problems were one, two, three, four down the line. And then what he did, we support staff personnel in every discipline, followed suit, and provided him the ammunition to tackle this and exploit. He made these artificial weeds, which are now called synthetic hexaploid weeds. We had them all planted in Obregon, and uh, I took time, I said, Raj, I want you to visit the field. And I took him out there, and I said, this is it. And he said, well, are you excited about this? I said, yeah. He said, so what? I said, what do you mean, so what? He said, who is going to grow this? This is a genetic stock. You've got to do better than this. Make it user-friendly so that people can exploit it. You have to get rid of that tough rakus and everything else and the spike and make it soft, pliable in the hands of a breeder so it can go through the thresher and it can function. And that was the two words, so what? And I made many pr presentations of that. I showed synthetics, showed, showed the feed photograph. Raj is there, I'm there. And I said, and I had a caption underneath it, so what? I said, that's so what changed the direction of the wheat white process program into applied breeding and we took over completely new diversity right around the world.